You mentioned that you have a one-year-old that you're trying to sleep train so you can all get better sleep, but every time you let him cry, he throws up. And actually, this isn't a very uncommon response, especially for kids with strong gag reflexes. They cry and they vomit. And it's not as much of an, an emotional response for it as it would be like for us. It's just a response when they cry and it's not harmful to them. And it's still okay to proceed with sleep training as long as you're sure that they don't have underlying issues that need to be addressed. Like if they're vomiting at other times or this is an issue during the day as well as at night, then talk with your pediatrician first before proceeding with sleep training but if it only happens when they're left alone and they just get upset and vomit then it's okay and this can be overcome keep in mind that children learn quickly that when they vomit they get a lot of response out of mom and dad and this gets them attention which is likely why they're up in the first place up to that point in that child's life they've learned that crying gets them what they want most especially vomiting it's going to get an instantaneous response from mom and dad and so kids are so cute but they're also very manipulative and so do what you can to keep your reactions to a minimum. When your child vomits, and especially if you know that they're going to, just be prepared. And when you go in the room, you'll have all the supplies that you need in order to clean them up, kiss them, and put them back to sleep. And so start with maybe a basin of water underneath the crib and a washcloth and a fresh change of clothes and a new diaper and a new crib sheet. And then when your baby vomits, go in. And if you have the help of your partner, it's even easier because one can clean up your baby while the other one changes the sheets and probably get some, some um, sanitizing wipes too. So you can wipe the, the plastic crib lining. And then you just, like I said, kiss them and put them back in bed. Um, keep lights to a minimum, keep talking to a minimum, and be persistent and consistent about doing this. And it may take a couple of weeks, but eventually your baby will learn that crying and vomiting doesn't get them what they want. And so the behavior stops. If the suggestions offered here have not made a difference, then of course talk with your pediatrician and they'll ask you more specific questions about your circumstances. They also have a working knowledge of your, your child's history and they can give you tailored information and advice about it. Good luck with it, and if you have more questions in the future for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountainmoms and recommend us to your friends and family too. <laughs>